let me tell you something. Before, but before going to the to his leadership style, <laughs> I remember one day I was uh, in the classroom, and my teacher, I was in high school. My teacher was uh, we were doing like a critical studies on the African leaders in the independence period. Okay, and we came to Secretary's life. And there's a book that uh, fully, fully, fully criticized Secretary's leadership. And I, I, I got up and I said to my teachers and my friends in class, we need a critical, a, a critical studies to, to have a bigger picture about Secretary because he's a significant personality in Africa and, and the world as a world. So when you are studying this one, you have to have like the ins and the out of his uh, of his leadership. And my teacher said to me that, get out of this class. Get out of this class. Get out of this class. And fortunately, I had a provisor. He is a Senegalese, by the way, because I studied in the Catholic school one of the best schools in, in Guinea. It's very complicated to enter that school. And that provisor, uh, that supervisor told me, but what's really happened? I said, I tried, to, I, tried to, I tried to give my ideas on the way that the teachers is, um, is, a, is talking about secretaries, the leaders that led Africa in a certain moment of, of uh, African life. And he said, ah, but this teacher is not supposed to get you out of this class. You just give your, your, your ideas. You did not do so many things. Yeah. And after, what, after that day, the, the teacher said to me, Bashi, you can enter the class. But he was really reluctant. He said, this guy won't overthrow me here. <laughs> I said to you, Mister, I don't want to vote. I just want to give my ideas. Be with me. You know that I really appreciate your classes, but this thing, if we do not have a bigger picture about the African history, we will not be able to lead Africa. We are going to look at them as a, a, a criminals, as a tyrant, uh, as some people who did not do anything for Africa. Because when you look at so many, Af uh, so many European countries or America, their leaders as are heroes for them, even though they did not do a completely good side, but they are heroes for them because they did so many significant actions in terms of the country's emancipation. Following up your questions, I will say that uh, Sukutre was known for his pan-Africanist and socialist views, and he really advocated for the unity of African countries and the establishment of a social socialist state in Guinea. And he implemented policies that aimed to promote economic self-sufficiency and reduce dependence on foreign aid. And also, today also sup uh, suppressed opposition and dissent through authoritarian measures. Because this has supposed to be said, uh, because some people say that Sokotoure is a, a hero and other people on the flip side say that Secretary is a tyrant. But um, for me, as a future leader of my country and Africa as a whole, I try to depict some of his good side, develop that, explore that, and put that in place into the development and the growth of my country, and try to avoid some of his bad side that will not be able to lead the country. That's why I say that I have a critical mindset critical ideas and conceptions on the African leaders, you know, uh, actions in Africa. Thank you very much for that. That is very important. Um, we always need to have a holistic view when we are looking at uh, issues related to leadership or um, we are talking of people um, because it is difficult to just pick out an individual and just say the person is good or the person is bad. Because what makes up the human being is complex. You cannot say you cannot see any good person who does not have some element of bad in, in him or her. And you cannot see any bad person who does not have some element of good. So it depends on where do you want to stand and do the analysis. 
But to be objective, to be clear, we need to weigh both sides. In fact, we, don't, we never need to tell people this is what you should believe. This is my point of view. This is how I see it. They let the person judge for his or herself whether uh, based on the evidence, the person is good or bad. But in any case, in a general sense of it, we are looking at a, a hero uh, who have done a lot of things for his people. That is what we are looking at. That's why we are talking about him. He has done a lot of good things in, in Guinea. Uh, but of course, he might also have done some bad things that make him a human being. Because if he have only done good things, in fact, I, I don't know any person who have only done good things in life. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you will help me. You will help me with this. How do the Guineans actually see this individual? When they say Sekuture, what kind of image comes to mind for the Guinean people? <laughs> <laughs> you know why I'm laughing a little bit or why I'm smiling? It's because of my father. I do not have the same point of view of my father uh, with Secretary's actions in Guinea. That's my enough. father treats me. Uh, <laughs> my father treats me. My father treats me as a revolutionary, as a reactionist. <laughs> he said that Secretary has a uh, as a. Uh, has uh, put backward the Republic of Guinea. I said, Papa, you you were at the moment of secretary. And did you pay any tuition fee to go to school? <laughs> he said to me, no, I need it. <laughs> and how about this time around? And are you paying tuition fee for us or not? He said, yes, I'm paying tuition fee for you guys. I said, you see the epoch, the areas of secretary, and you are very well educated, and so many people who were at the moment of Sokuture had so many scholarships abroad to study for free, and they had good educations. And today, they do not have it. We do not have it in Guinea. That are some of the problems. And currently, the 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 president who is leading the Republic of Guinea, the Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya, renamed the name of the airport of the Republic of Guinea. It's now named as the International Airport of Ahmed Sekuture, which was very controversial in the Republic of Guinea. So many people said that, no, you are not supposed to rename this airport as Sekuture because he's a tyrant. And some people were saying, no, you, that's very amazing. That's very insightful to rename this airport as a, as a, as Sekutri because he's an, a hero. You see, when you talk about Sekutri, it's more controversial because they are like a family in Guinea who, who are the victims of Sekutri's uh, political actions. You get? And we treat them as an enemies of Guinea because there were so many... Uh, things that were against Secretary when he was leading Guinea, because he was the first uh, he was the first uh, president in the French colonialist country to say to France, "We need our independence in 1958." At that moment, we had so many things and so many influences to influence like uh, the Guinean leaders in order to kill Secretary, and those people who. Uh, who were caught were considered as an enemies, and there are so many families there. They do not consider Sekutre as a, as an uh, hero, but they consider him as a tyrant. And talking about Sekutre is more uh, is more controversial uh, to say. All right, I get it, and this is why we are talking about it because we really need to. It is our job to look at our hero and explain who they are. It doesn't mean that, I repeat again, it doesn't mean that they haven't done anything bad. That is not why we are talking about them. <laughs> All right. <you> know, <laughs> there is an error that was made in Nigeria. I don't know uh, for Guinea, for Guinea if, if the same thing was made. Because when you say it's controversial, it mean, do the people really know who he is? Did the people really know what he did? Because in Nigeria, the error that was made is that the federal government of Nigeria, which of course controlled the Nigeria educational system, decided to remove history from school. Which wow. means for very, for very many years, uh, more than 10 years, history was not considered a, an important subject to be taught in school. And of course, we talked about it here. 
I ask him, what can be the implication of that? Of course, there is a strong implication of that in that the people of Nigeria are now told that they don't need to learn about their origin, where they are coming from, who have done what, why they did what they did. 